Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Behind the Shades. It's your host, Terrain, and we have a beautiful topic to share with each and every one of you. I recently had a conversation with a longtime guest, good friend, and we talked about the difference between peace and love. Because there are many times you can't have both, but the dream is to find someone that is not only the source of your love, but the source of your peace. And we discussed the struggle sometimes that we face sacrificing peace for love or worse yet, peace in the name of love. You see, there's going to be times in your life where you strongly believe you know exactly what you want. And you strongly believe that the person that is in your life can give you everything that you think that you're missing. So you begin to sacrifice certain things. You sacrifice your peace. You sacrifice your dependency or your independency. You sacrifice your happiness. You sacrifice your hobbies. You sacrifice the type of person you used to be because you're becoming a totally different person. And this person that you're becoming, you don't even recognize when you see it in the mirror. This is the problem that happens many times to many people when they get into a new relationship and they have stardust in their eyes. And the person in the beginning makes them think that they're going to be able to get everything that they want. And then the mask of that person falls off. The real version of them comes out. And that usually happens after first couple of months, because in the first couple of months, let's say three months, you're in the honeymoon stage. The sex is good. The kissing is good. Everything just seems to be aligned. You're never late for work. Every time you walk by the kettle, it automatically starts whistling. The toast is never burnt. Everything is just perfect. And then something happens. You begin to feel a little anxious. You begin to feel a little bit at 90%. This person is draining you in ways that you didn't think was possible on an emotional, spiritual level and mental level. Then you begin to notice that you don't have the same level of peace that you did a few months ago. And then you begin to realize that the more time you spend with this person, the more time you don't feel like yourself. You don't recognize a person that you see in the mirror. You don't even recognize some of the behaviors that you're doing. You have become a version of yourself that you didn't even think was possible. And in the meantime, you've lost a part of you. And that part of you that you've lost, you begin to realize was the real source of your peace, of your contentment. Because now what's happening is you're beginning to sacrifice yourself in ways that you didn't necessarily want to do. But you've done it in the name of love. Or in the name of what you thought love was. Because maybe you grew up not knowing what love was. Or maybe you grew up only knowing the toxic version of love. Where no matter how the person treats you, as long as they say the words, I love you, it makes everything seem to be okay. You begin to forgive things that are triggers begin to see red flags as green flags, or sometimes you don't even see any flags at all. You are so caught up, you don't even realize how deep you are in the situation. But there is something that we all can do when that happens. You see, the person that you're supposed to be with is not necessarily supposed to elevate you to 100%. That's your job. Their job is not to decrease your happiness, your peace, and your sound of mind. If you're feeling 90% today, their job is not to make you feel 100%. Their job is to not make you feel 80%. They should be the source of your 
calming. They calm you. They soothe you. They help maintain you. When you need a shoulder to cry on because your two shoulders aren't enough for that day, they're there. When you need someone to carry the burden of the outside world, they're there to listen. They're there to be a source of what can be right with the world. But it all comes down to each and every one of us. When we start to look to others for our peace and happiness, then we become dependent on them for our peace and happiness. Then they have the power. They can control when we are at peace, when we're happy, when we're content. Mm -hmm.